and um, we'll go back and watch you know, I think that from, like, just like uh, focusing on running relaxed and stuff. And, um, I see my little sister, yeah, that that sister, hot pace at the beginning was definitely a little shocking. I she feels like she just haven't done enough training. I think to be ready for that. What was it like having that Bowerman section out there yelling and with all the thunder? It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's really great to have such an incredible crowd here, and it's it's amazing every time I'm here at Hayward. It's super fun and um, always coming around that curve. I mean, I think back to pre last year and with 300 to go you know i think i knew i had a really good shot at breaking nine but it was that energy that really like propelled me to get through that what do you think that's gonna be like at, at worlds man oh it's gonna be incredible so i'm excited to hopefully get my spot on the team and be back here to be able to experience that I'm sorry, God, we, I couldn't really see the race in here. Did you go out front, sort of with the with the leaders and fade a little bit, or how? no? Um, I went out hot the first like 200, and yeah. then realized like this is really quick. So, um, like I was saying, we I'm coming off a lot of strength work, not a whole lot of um, not a lot of sharpening at all. Um, I mentioned earlier, like I had a fantastic fall winter, opened obviously in 1448 in um, the um, indoor season, and then had some really low iron levels coming out of altitude that I've been trying to manage and get on top of. Um, so spent a lot of March and part of April just feeling really pretty horrible because of that and figured out the problem. Um, and so we're addressing it now and, and altitude's been going well. I think I'm just trying to like get back to that form I was in in the winter. So we'll see. <laughs> Pardon. Pardon. Go back to altitude. Um, you know, I know the stuff I need to work on, and you know, it, you know, if I look at, I think actually this is my second fastest opener ever for the steeple, so I'm not super concerned because I know how I progress throughout a season. But I definitely know, like, I need to get sharper. I need to be ready for that quick start because. That's traditionally what happens, and, and Nora likes to race that way. So I need to be prepared for the Olympics to not go, or sorry, the for you know if I make worlds, it to not go how the Olympics was, where it was kind of that looking around at the beginning. So, was but I know I can run well that way. I yeah. went out in 2:55 when I ran, ran some nine. So, so with your iron levels low, was there any thought not, about not going out too? Because I, I remember when yeah, I was training. Yeah, no, I know, and it was definitely sort of this panic um, of like trying to get like to a good place um, because obviously yeah I think that that was part of altitude went really well the first month I ran really well in the 5k but I came in with low levels and then obviously came out and everything dropped so you can know, usually get to boost from altitude I actually went negative like I like, was at a loss so um, I'm in a really good place now the doctors with USATF have been super helpful with like having me get regular blood tests to make sure I'm in a good level so yeah just trying to build back the confidence and what's a good one for you? Um, so I was told by Dr. Chapman, who's with USATF, um, that really if, with the kind of altitude training we're doing, if your ferritin isn't really kind of above that 50 mark, you aren't going to be able to get a bit of, of any benefit. My ferritin was in the 30s going into the winter altitude and then it dropped lower. And so all my other levels also dropped lower, which isn't what's supposed to happen. Um, I found out that I actually have celiac disease, which has like been part of the cause I wasn't taking in the iron. So we're addressing that. A lot of diets. Was, March was just a really like it was a really tough month. So, but you know what? Like we're all dealing with our own things and figuring out how to manage it. And um, I feel good about where I'm at with things now. But now I just know, like I'm so much better than 920. Um, so I know what I got to work on. And we did it last year, so I'm confident. <laughs>